Hey guys, Deuce Stevens here. I'm here at Paradise Pass in Two Bear Arms Gun Shop, home of the Paradise Pass Regulators. I'm going to do a real quick video review of the Charles Daly uh, Model 512. Um, these guns are being brought in by Kiapa Firearms out of Ohio um, under the Charles Daly name. Uh, right off the bat, I'm not going to bore you with too many details on the gun that you don't need to know about. Um, this is a real lightweight shotgun. It comes in at 5 pounds, 11 ounces. Uh, it's a 3-inch chamber gun. Chrome line bores, comes with five choke tubes. Uh, it's a 20 inch barrel. As you can see, pretty nicely figured Turkish walnut on there. Um, you know, some of the keynotes about the gun, it's got a really nicely ergonomically configured stock on it, real sharp pistol grip with a nice palm swell, which isn't gonna necessarily interest left-handers, but for right-handers, it's really nice. Um, these are mechanical triggers as they come from the factory real nice short reset on that mechanical okay um, this one right here I've had tuned up by Doc Noper um, interestingly enough the main springs are stock and the gun still opens nicely um, we did have to retime the gun to make it open a little bit wider okay it wasn't a real big deal uh, again the chrome line bores are really nice chambers are super slick all the safeties on these 512s as they come are manual right from the factory and it's got a real sharp positive on and off on the safety and it's also got your barrel selector right on top of the safety okay um, this gun again has had the action work chambers have been funneled uh, one thing you'll note that's different than the skb brownings or stogers and Bikels is that the extractor shape comes up a little bit taller and it's kind of horned here up top um, skb users and guys that are used to skb extractors that's going to be probably the number one thing they notice. I shot this gun today for all five stages. <clears throat> um, and I'll probably have Doc actually see if we can tune the horns on this extractor a little bit more. Because um, it was just different enough from what I was used to that the way I load, I was kind of running into that. Um, I've shot a variety of ammo through this gun from STS's gun clubs, herders. It's tossed everything. Uh, today I'm going to be shooting... Just one ounce gun clubs doing about 1185 it's what i shoot at most monthly matches um pretty what i would consider an average bargain basement shot shell uh, but again you know turkish walnut stock chrome line bores uh real solid lockup okay um you'll note the locking looks on this on this gun are about three quarters of an inch wide super strong action it is a single lug gun okay so it's not going to have it's not going to have the ability to be bump stepped or what people would call the hold open feature. Um, honestly, it, you know, as slick as this gun turned out, I don't think it's gonna need it. Um, again, the stock, the main springs are stock form in here. The top lever spring, we did tune quite a bit. The top lever spring is actually, it's not a coil or a flat spring, it's a torsion spring that sits up here in the action. Um, it was a little bit of a challenge to tune. We might look into getting something that's a drop in aftermarket. But uh, so far, so good. I'm pretty impressed with the gu this gun. Internally, there was no slag or, you know, tooling marks. Really nicely finished. Again, I'm not sure what the receiver is made of because of the weight. I don't believe it's stainless. I think it's some sort of an alloy. Uh, but it's kind of a sharp-looking gun. Um, I'm going to sell these for $8.99, tuned and ready to go, plus shipping. Um, so it puts it in that, in that marketplace between a Stoger and an SKB, basically. Kind of gives you that middle ground. Um, I'm going to be shooting this for the next few months, see if it holds up to our types of shooting. Um, but uh, again, it's a gun I'm kind of getting used to, but I'm going to do just a couple of couple of runs to, to show you how it works. <clears throat> it does come with a with a factory rubber recoil pad on there. It's not super squishy. Um, it's it's a little bit harder, a little slicker, uh, but for me, it does still grab my shirt a little bit. So I'm probably going to end up covering that with some leather eventually. So um, that's just one thing I noted today shooting it. So let's see how she runs. Again, you can see I'm fighting with the chambers a little bit. Getting used to that extractor shape is just a little bit different for me. One thing I have noticed, everything is very compact about this gun. Um, the receiver is extremely small for a 12 gauge. Uh, the chamber 
dimensions as far as how close they are together. Everything's very compact about this gun. I think it's a winner. Um, it's got a really nice, generous trigger guard on there, so you don't get any of the the finger bumping or bruising that you do on some of the uh, more value-based shotguns. But uh, I think it's I think it's going to be a winner, and hopefully have a good place in the cowboy mark in the cowboy world. So I'll do another six shots out of it just to let you know how it goes. Nope, I screwed that up. Okay. Again, really short reset um, for guys that love to push their shot their shot splits. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to continue to test it out. I'm happy with it so far. And uh, thanks for watching.